This episode of Hack 5 is brought to you by Toyota. Shannon Morse from CES 2014 here at the XI3 booth with David. David, hi, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, Shannon. It's great to see you again. It's great to see you too. Thank you for, you know, remembering me. Oh, it's so exciting. On. Who could not remember Shannon Morse? Oh, you're so sweet. Now, I know you guys have come out with the Piston. You've also come out with some really interesting new relationships with your product. Tell me a little bit about what's going on this year. Well, we're at CES again. This is year four, and it's bigger, better, and better than we've ever been. We're three times larger as far as booth space. We've still got the rotating cubes up top. Um, but one of the things that we're doing is we're really starting to focus on some vertical markets. So, for example, right now we're in what we call the patient room of the future. We've partnered with one of the leading healthcare providers in the world that uses technology to help provide better care to their, its patients. The company's called Intermountain Healthcare, headquartered in Salt Lake City, Utah. And they wanted to be able to find out, could they help reduce costs? Could they have patients spend less time in hospitals if they applied technology in new and exciting ways? And they ended up choosing us. So we're really excited about that. That's so cool. I love hearing that you're trying to make healthcare a little bit easier and a little bit less of a cost. Because right now it's, you know, well, healthcare is crazy at the moment in the U.S. Tell me a little bit about um, what product are you putting into these hospitals and how does that work? So we're showing a couple of new products here. Of course, we're showing and talking about our modular computers. Our newest modular computer is this one. It's called the X7A modular computer. It's the big brother of the first one we came out with, quad core, eight gigs of RAM, up to a terabyte of solid state storage, lots of I.O., including triple monitor support native out of the box. You can use this as a server. In fact, that is what Intermountain Healthcare is doing. They call it a near edge server. This is being deployed right now as part of a telemedicine pilot program in emergency rooms and intensive care units throughout their entire network. Can you compute data that's gathered from your pulse oximeters, from your, your heart rate, from your level of carbon monoxide in the air, or whatever? But the idea is, can you gather all that data and crunch the data right there in the room? The answer is yes, by using something this small and this tiny. And also using this, you, you mentioned earlier about um, the, the patient being able to control things as well. Well, exactly. I mean, it's one thing to say, OK, we're going to put a computer in hospital rooms, and, and many hospitals do that. But what you also want to do is you want to make the stay as enjoyable as possible for the patient. So when the medical professional leaves, we then allow the patient to take over and control the TV, watch whatever shows they want, surf the web, access any of their content on the web, control the lights, the heating, the air conditioning, the curtains, call a nurse, say, hey, I need another blanket. All that can be done, medical professional comes back in, they take over and yet all the data is secure because it's all HIPAA compliant. That's so cool. I love the fact that you're making it easier and making me a happier patient when I'm at the hospital. Now, there's also something else that I'm really interested in as a gamer, right. the piston. Yes. So we, of course, a year ago announced that we had entered into a partnership with Valve, that they had uh, invested in us, and we were coming out with the piston console. Piston was a really tiny box designed specifically for gaming. Um, unfortunately, we've kind of verged away, diverged, if you will, from Valve uh, because they've decided they're going to focus on Linux. And we're not opposed to Linux because at the end of the day, our boxes run Linux. Better not be. No, of course not. I mean, we ship standard out the door with a Linux load. But when you talk about games in the computer world, most of them are written on what OS? On Windows. The hugest part of the marketplace is on Windows today. So we've decided that we're going to continue down the path of Windows. We will continue to evaluate Linux. We love Valve. We love Steam. When you launch Piston in our UI, the first thing that pops up is Steam, yeah. right? <laughs> and so why would you want to abandon 50 plus million gamers? The answer is, of course not. We don't want to do that. And we also think we have the hottest looking Steam box out there, right? The smallest one, the most powerful. But for now, we've diverged and we wish them well. I love this, the, the piston. It's one of my favorite things ever. I 
want to play some games out you there. Want to play some games out yes, absolutely. absolutely. I totally want to play some games out there. Um, is there anything else that's going on with XI3 this year that you would like to mention? Well, for your viewers, they should know that we have launched the version 1.0 of the Piston UI. As part of that, we have begun to optimize games specifically to play on Piston. So we have 50 titles today, newest, latest, greatest, most graphically challenging games. So XI3 settings, if you will, first time you download it, recognizes that it's been loaded for the first time, sets it to this, but freedom, we give you the freedom to say, you know what, I don't care if the girl's hair is wisping in the wind, I want to turn down the hair, so turn down the hair. Turn up the anti-aliasing, do whatever you want, it's, you should be able to do that, and you should be able to change that, so we give you that every game in game settings. You don't get that on consoles. You do get that on PCs, but a lot of gamers don't know how to do that. So we'll walk you through that entire process, and we have more things coming down the road. So. That's so exciting. Now, how, how much does it cost, and where can people find out more information? So, certainly, you can always go to xi3.com, the letter X, the letter I, the number 3.com, forward slash piston. Um, and pricing is still $9.99. It is what it is. But remember, it's also under the hood a computer, so you can actually load your most favorite and most used games. You can jump out to the web. You can also load your most favorite applications that you need. You want to control the lighting in your home, the HVAC, you can load that software onto Piston, but you can also listen to iTunes, go watch Netflix, go to Hulu, watch TV locally through like an Aereo, all of that on Piston. It's a computer, it's an awesome computer, it's under two pounds, I'm totally going to take one home with me. <laughs> but, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> David, thank you so much for speaking thank with me today. Man. And if you would like to find coverage about Piston and everything else involved with CES, go to revision3.com CES 2014. Thanks once again to Toyota for sponsoring our CES coverage.